Hello friends, welcome to Gadget Kara. Today I'm here to show you the top 10 features after the Android 10 update in your Xiaomi Mi A2 or your Mi A3 device. So without further waste any more time, let's check that out. Okay guys, to get started, the first one in the list is dark mode. So you can apply the dark theme from your display panel and you will see the option called dark theme. So what it does is like it will turn all your settings window, your app drawer, everything turns black. So even if you go to the settings panel or your home screen, everything will turn into black. And most of the apps which supports dark theme also will change to black color. So there are many unsupported apps that you can do it with another setting that I will be covering in the later part of the video. So moving to the next feature in the list is navigation gestures. So like what you get in like MIUI devices, you get the navigation gestures here. So you can access this setting from the option called navigation gestures and in that the new feature they have introduced is the gesture navigation. So you can also change the sensitivity. So once you activate this, if you want to go to your home screen, you can just slide from the bottom and just hold it and you can access all the recent apps. And if you want to go from one app to the previous app, you can just slide from your left to right towards the bottom of the screen. So it works really fine like in what you get in a MIUI device. It's quite it works quite flawlessly and if you want to just go back to the previous app, you can slide from your any of the ends. So other thing which I noticed is they have revamped the volume buttons and now this is how the volume panels looks like. You get more customizable options here and everything come at like one place so you can adjust all your media volume and the ringtone volume, alarm volume, everything at one place. So moving to another one cool interesting feature is like accessing the Google Assistant. So now if you slide from any of the edges like left corner or the right corner you can just access the google assistant which comes in quite handy if you are using google assistant so other feature i noticed is like auto rotate so if your auto rotate is off so it intelligent intelligently detects the auto the rotation and it will show you a pop-up or like an auto rotate icon wherein you just need to click on it and you can rotate your phone so if you are using any of the apps, just rotate it and towards the side of the screen, you will get that auto rotate option and you can just use that to rotate your phone. So other option is like override force dark, which is available within the developer option. You can just go to your developer option and just search for override dark mode. So by default, it will be like disabled. If you just enable it, what actually happens is like it will override dark mode to other applications such as Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, all these apps will turn into black color. The other option which I, other feature I noticed is like accent colors. So in developer option, if you go to, if you just search for accent colors, you will see an option called accent colors and there you will see like multiple options available. As you can see here, you can try different options like orchid. Then you have like other options like black, cinnamon. Everything looks cool and you can simply give it a try and based on that the accent colors will change. Another cool feature I saw is like you can also change the font. As of now you get the option to change to only one another option but it looks something different than the default one so you can definitely give it a try if you want to try changing fonts. So other thing which I noticed is they have revamped the power button and now the menu looks uh, somewhat different. I mean the shaping looks somewhat different and they have introduced the emergency button also there. So this is how the power button looks like now. So moving to another feature which I liked is focus mode. So when you go to the digital well-being app, if you scroll down, you will see something called focus mode. Actually what it does is like you can select the apps which you want to keep it in focus mode so that and when it when you turn on you can keep you can schedule it and turn it on so what happens is like if you try to open that app it it will show you that focus mode is on and you won't be able to use that app it's like to avoid using that app during a particular period of time it comes in handy if you are using a app for more long longer time of longer period of time so other thing I noticed is like intelligent reply for the normal messaging app. So they have introduced an update to the messaging app. 
So other thing which I noticed here is the game driver preferences. So in game driver preferences, what if you turn it on, you can pick to use like the updated graphics driver. So if you turn this on, like the apps which are selected that will use the enhanced updated graphics driver. So you can use this for gaming purpose. So another cool feature introduced with this update is you can share your Wi-Fi. So if you want to share your Wi-Fi with your friends, you can simply go to your Wi-Fi settings and click on the QR code and then use your fingerprint to share your Wi-Fi to your friends. It is quite handy and very useful. So that's it guys, that's it for the video. Hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, do share it to your friends and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. So until next time we meet, bye bye.